Vice-Chancellor, honored guests and students. I'm truly proud and thrilled to be here this evening to accept this award of an honorary degree of Doctor of Science at Anglia Ruskin University. First, I want to offer my heartfelt thanks to the people who selected me for this honor, especially the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Michael Thorne, Professor Ruth Taylor, who has just kindly read this lovely citation for me, and Professor Eamon Strain, with whom I have a very long friendship and uh, colleague relationship. And of course, the Honorary Degrees Committee. Now, I mainly want to address my remarks to those of you who are, are receiving real degrees from Anglia Ruskin University this evening. I have two main things to say. First of all, once you do something, like acquiring a university degree, it can often begin to seem ordinary. This is especially true if, like so many of us, you tend to suffer from a lack of self-confidence. You might be thinking, oh, anyone can have a university education these days. What's so special about it? I want to tell you that it is truly special. Less than a quarter of the adult population of the UK has a university degree or its equivalent. So your achievement is impressive and you should be very proud of it. Second, now that you've done it, what about your career? My career, as you've heard from Professor Taylor, has been in academic research in psychology and neuropsychology. And through all of its ups and downs, I have always found it truly fascinating. The weekend section of one of our major newspapers in the UK has an interview every week with a famous person who has asked a standard series of questions. One of the questions is, ambition or talent? Which matters more to success? Some of the selected people favor ambition, some favor talent, some say they're equally important. But I think that what matters most to success is neither ambition nor talent, but rather being constantly absorbed by what you do. So the message that I want to offer you this evening is this. Whatever you choose to do next, I truly hope that you will be determined and lucky enough to pursue a career that keeps you interested and stimulated every day of your working life. Having a university degree makes this more likely, but it does not guarantee it. It is still up to you. Thank you very much.